Hey everybody, I'm Diane Gale and welcome to my channel. Today, you and I are going to make a tomato cream sauce for pasta together and we are going to use these beautiful fresh garden tomatoes. This is an amazing simple way to really enjoy the tomatoes that are so bountiful at this time of year. Um, we're always looking for things to do with vegetables from the garden. Sometimes it feels like you're just doing the same old thing. This is a recipe that is simple and easy. It can be done on a weeknight or you can do it on a weekend and let that sauce really simmer down. Um, either way, it's fabulous, easy, and really, really delicious. So these two tomatoes, actually, I'm gonna set to the side because a little bit later, I'm gonna make some bruschetta, but that is a different video, so you'll have to stay tuned to the channel to see that it will be coming out next. These six garden fresh tomatoes that are here are going to make up our sauce. And all I'm gonna do is core them. Um, if you have a corer, a corer is a great tool. I don't have one anymore, and I'm not sure that I'll ever replace it. Sometimes you end up with just so many darn kitchen tools that it's troublesome to have them all around. And they're really not necessary. I'm going to take and I'm going to have maybe quarter these tomatoes, and I'm going to scoop the pulp and the juice from the inside of them out into this bowl. Now, today I'm going to take and I'm going to dispose of that pulp and that juice because I am not in my own kitchen space, but when I was in my own kitchen space and I would make this recipe, I would take that juice and I would freeze it. And then when I made soup stocks, I would use that to boil down the vegetables in instead of um, water. And it adds a lot of flavor. It's really, really a good thing. And you know, it just, I mean, it just saves, right? Why throw away this delicious part of the vegetable? But you don't want it in your sauce because it will make your sauce uh, way too watery, it way too thin. And by the time you're done using thickening agents to thicken that up, you won't be getting that amazing tomato flavor. I'm then gonna take each one of these tomatoes and I'm just gonna cut them into bite-sized pieces and put them in this cast iron pan. And as soon as I'm finished with that, I'll be back to show you how to put together this tomato sauce before you put it on the stove. Okay, you guys, so I have all of those tomatoes prepared and put into this cast iron Dutch oven. This recipe is not going to be a recipe of exact measurements. I've always just done it by eye and um, it's just, I mean it could, I could make exact measurements, but it really depends on how much you want to make, it depends on how many tomatoes you have, so I'm just going to try and give you an idea. As you saw, these were six kind of large garden tomatoes and I chopped up um, two cloves of fresh garlic here that I'm going to put in. Now, I'm a garlic lover, so that might be too much garlic if you are not, but you can adjust all of this to your tastes. It's one of the great things about it. I'm also going to put um, a kind of a large pinch of salt in here, maybe a little extra, and I'm going to do the same with pepper. I will do exactly the same with rosemary oregano, and thyme. Basically, I start out with sort of equal measurements of everything. You can put less seasoning and flavor as you go. I am going to put this on the stove and I'm going to cook it down. Now, you can cook it down until it's just nice and soft and looks, you know, like it's ready to put on top of pasta and you can eat it that way. You can cook it down on the stove, you know, <clears throat> turn it on medium heat and heat it up and then put it on low heat and let it simmer for an hour or two. 
uh, that kind of infuses some of the flavor. You can take these tomatoes and you can roast them on a parchment lined pan in the oven at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes and then cook them down giving it a roasted tomato flavor and once it's cooked down you can go ahead and you can eat it as it is or you can use an immersion blender to turn it into more of a sauce like texture chances are today i'm going to eat it as it is we'll see how it cooks down i do want you to know that just before I take it off the stove, I'm going to add a little bit of heavy cream to it to make it a cream sauce. I have about a quarter cup of heavy cream here, and I think that's probably about what I'm going to use. But we'll see what it looks like once it's on the stove. Also, I wanted to uh, show you, I'm not sure how much, oh, maybe you can't really see that. This is that pulpy tomato. Um, it's just so tempting for me to just try and make a soup out of this right now because I really, really hate to throw it out. Um, it is too delicious. Anyway, I am off to the stove. I'm going to cook this down. I'm going to add that heavy cream. I am going to cook up some fettuccine. And when I come back, you and I are going to have a taste of this delicious garden fresh tomato cream sauce. It's a little noisy in this kitchen right now. We're right under the fan. Um, we're in an industrial kitchen, so I hope you can hear me, but I have added a little bit of garlic and I've added a little bit of oregano. You can also put crushed red pepper flakes or basil in this dish. It is simmering down nicely. This is going to be amazing, you guys. Alright, you guys, I can hear the refrigerator running. Things are pretty loud. I know I've already said that, but anyway. I've turned this off. I'm going to put that cream in. Sorry, I'm trying to hold this camera and film at the same time, and I don't usually have to do that. Um, I'm going to stir this up, and you can see it changing color there. Cream sauce. So delicious. So this is done. This is not a thick sauce. You can make it thicker by, I'm trying to tip this pan, I'm not having such good luck with that. You can make it thicker by draining your tomatoes longer, but if you want this to be a quick weeknight dinner, which is what I was aiming for today, then this is how it is going to be. I am going to use the immersion blender because I think that's going to thicken it up a little bit. It's going to take those chunks of tomatoes, which I usually love to have on my pasta, but it's going to take them and it's going to distribute them through the sauce. And I think that that's going to make a big difference in how thick it is. And actually, uh, that made it perfect. And this is incredible. Probably too hot for me to taste but we'll give it a shot. Mm. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. Fresh garden tomatoes, ready to go on top of pasta. You can't beat it. I cooked up a little bit of fettuccine. I didn't cook up a ton because I'm just doing this for lunch. Um, I did buy a good fettuccine you want to buy a really good pasta, guys. I paid, I think, $4.50 or something like that for a pound of, of this. I mean, you can pay a lot more than that. If you can make fresh pasta, well, even better. But you definitely, definitely want good pasta. And if you're going to buy inexpensive pasta, um, don't buy the store brand. Buy Barilla. It's a decent pasta. Most restaurants use it, and um, it's not that much more expensive than the store brand. You're talking about 30 or 40 cents. It makes all the difference in the world. This really good pasta makes all the difference in the world. I am going to top this 
with a little bit of an Asiago and Parmesan blend, a shredded blend, maybe more than a little bit because, um, well, I really like that. And then I'm going to get a picture of it for the thumbnail for this video and then you and I are going to have a taste. I can't wait to bite into this. I'm super excited. Um, I think I got some good pictures for the thumbnail. It's always hard. I'm in another new space filming and it, my life has been such that I'm just in one new space after another since I started this channel and I cannot wait until that is fixed. But um, I'm grateful to be in the spaces that I am. It takes a while to adjust to them and I am in adjustment stage right now. So thank you for bearing with me while I do that. And let's taste this. Mm. I adore this. I have made so many sauces with fresh tomatoes. It's very different than um, other sauces, the kind of sauce that we're used to. So be prepared for that when you bite into it. But just concentrate on tasting those tomatoes. They're amazing and so good for you. This sauce is so healthy. I mean, come on, you guys. It's pureed fresh garden tomatoes. That's incredible. Um, I had a friend who went to Italy and I don't know what part of Italy he was in, but I do know the cuisine is very different in different parts of Italy and he loved pizza. And when he had pizza there, instead of putting sauce on it, they had thinly sliced tomatoes and used that in place of sauce, which by the way, is incredible and a great way to use garden fresh tomatoes. And um, he was really disappointed. I would be in heaven because I love to get the real flavor of my vegetables when I'm cooking. I want that flavor to come through and that's what this does. So go ahead and give it a try. I know you're gonna love it. And thank you so much for joining me here today. You and I are going to get together again and we are going to do it really soon.